So, another collection update. I took the movies down from here again. So I just didn't want to fall on my ass, but basically getting them off the shelf. Um, so I'm going to start off with the Ryan Nicholson triple header. These are the ones that he put out by himself before and if Earth Films took over this stuff. These are the signed editions that he put out, limited to 666. Sadly, no longer with us. And uh, yeah, these are treasured, you know, DVDs. Um, you know, I probably will end up buying the Blu-rays um, just because, you know, I'm a fan of, of Ryan. And um, yeah, I did have conversations with him online and stuff. And he, he was a lovely guy. Again, this is the triple X rated. This is 111. This is limited to come with the, the colostomy bag and everything. And gutter balls, again, signed by the man himself and limited to 69. You know, um, so yeah, these are really limited edition ones. And like I said, treasured for the in the collection you know triple triple movies and uh yeah like i said no longer with us i know it's a bit of a sad one to talk about but yeah series seven the contenders a film that deserves to be picked up someone like vinegar syndrome or one of the partners um i i haven't heard many people talk about this over the years i see this at the cinema when it first came out um I think it's because it's totally ahead of the curve. It's done like a, a reality show um, and they have to kill people. Um, totally, totally, totally ahead of the curve. No one's, you know, it's only now that you, you see people thinking about this idea. But at the time, this was like a unique um, idea. Series 7 contenders, definitely check it out. Yes, it's a bit budget, the low budget acting, but it's well worth tracking down. Good one. Mother of Tears. I know this gets shit on, but um, it, this was the old DVD. I'm not going to pick pick it up on Blu-rays. No point. Um, it's one of his weaker films, but it, you know it's got it's got some good fun in it. Charlie says I've got a couple of these. Um, these are old TV adverts and safety related films um, from the 60s, 70s. Um, part of my childhood and stuff like that, because you know child of the 70s. But um, yeah, definitely worth picking up. And there's a few of them out, all safety adverts. Octoman, I know this has been reissued, and it's got the cre cremators on there as well, um, which I think Severin put out as well at some stage. Stanley, which I've also got on Blu-ray from Vinegar Syndrome, but this was the old DVD edition. It's come out on um, like a double feature now, but yeah, it's got some extras. You know, do do love Stanley. Chopping Mall, Video Shop Fave. It's great, you know, um, DVD, I'm fine with a DVD. CQ, can highly recommend this. Uh, like it's got Jason uh, Schwartzman in it, Gerard Depardieu, Billy Zane. Uh, it's a little bit tongue-in-cheek of the old 60s movies. And um, yeah, it's well worth tracking down, well worth your time. If you like those period set pieces and stuff like that from the 60s, and you, you know how it's shot and stuff, you know, like in like Flint and stuff like that. Well worth your time, this is. And uh, this is the old DVD. I'm, I'm sure this will get a reissue at some stage. Kino Lorber, someone like that. Uh, it's a great, great, great film. Intruder, which, you know, the 12 rating, <laughs> um, you know, kind of puts it. William Shatner, uh, he's most racist. It's a good little film. Roger Coleman classics. Um, if you've never seen it, track it down. Um, it's, a, it's a cracking little movie. I'm not going to say too much about it, but yeah. Puts William Shatner in a different light, and it's one of his best performances. He's horrible in it. It's, it's a it's a great film. Fascia de spy, spear, or whatever you call it. It's face of a spy, I think it's called. Quite nasty. Um, this is the uncut version. The super, uh, which has got the rapper Necro in it. This is a limited edition release. I've got like there's the old Necro there. I've got the V. I did have a VHS of this, or did I trade it on? I think I, I got rid of the VHS, traded it on, yeah, kept the DVD. Um, yeah, super. It's low budget, it's nasty, it's horrible. It's, this seems to be like the nasty pile, pile. 13, Game of Death. Again, a little bit ahead of the curve. Indonesian or Thai film, I think it is. 
Um, I haven't got my glasses on, so I can't see what the language is. But yes, yeah, so I think it's a Thai film. Um, really good if you've never seen it. It's available over here in the UK. This is an American disc. 13 Game of Death. Track it down. Try not to blow chunks at the toilet scene. Um, you know, it always kind of gets to people. Inside, this is getting a, a reissue. One of the best Christmas films. <laughs> uh, definitely. It's, it's a gory little film. The first time I watched this was on bootleg years ago. Uh, still nasty, still just as powerful. Um, I'm looking forward to re-upgrading this because it's a cracking little movie. Uh, and I might actually watch that again because it's, it's, it's a good one. Necromantic 1 and 2 with the soundtracks. These are the old uh, DVDs. Totally gone now. I used to love this company, Barrel. Um, yeah, and, and the cover art's good on them as well. So that's a, that's a reason why I've kept them. Shram by them as well. Barrel Entertainment. Not can't really show the cover of that because don't want my videos getting. I have to keep re-editing stuff. This is one of my favourite editions. I'm hoping. I know it's on an extra on one of the Vinegar Syndrome discs. I think it's Blue Ice, but Last House on Dead End Street. Not everyone's cup of tea. I like the atmosphere in this. It's something about it. It's just so odd. The atmosphere. I just, I've, I've always loved this film, and I'd love to get an American one sheet of of the of the poster. You know, the, the keep repeating because it's just it's just a favourite of mine. Um, not for everyone. Again, this is not for everyone. Eric Stans. I think he he, he used to make some cracking films. Um, this is the Dutch set. This that's got uh, five or six of his films on there. Um, Savage Harvest, Dark Harvest, I Piss on Your Grave, and stuff like that. Um, it, proper proper nastiness and scrapbook as well powerful films great director you know he dips a line between horror and nastiness and he's just a great director eric stands um ken park again this this needs a a, a reissue this was the this is the russian dvd it's the only time you could see it uncut uh and i've cleared a room with this what you know put this movie on i've cleared a room with it to be honest not for everyone same for this movie kids Harmony Corinne, um, Larry Clark. Yeah, it's just just great. And I should really upgrade this because I think Kids is a great film. I love the New York setting. I loved the, the skateboard scenario. Just think it's perfect. Happiness. Another one, not for everyone. Um, Todd Salons. I, I should really get Welcome to the Dollhouse. I know that's available over here as well. But it's, it's just a cracker, you know what I mean? It's a cracking film. Um, I see one of the only films I've seen people walk out of the cinema to. Um, just great. Rico Mean Machine. Watched this just recently. And it's just great. Christopher Mitchum, Barbara Boucher. There's that one scene with Barbara Boucher in the foggy, in the foggy night time, shall we say. Uh, it's just a cracker. Cauldron of Death. Plenty of uh, nastiness goes on in this. Ripe for rediscovery. Someone, uh, I think Dark Sky put this out. If you've never seen this, the cover make it looks like a trashy um you know actioner it, but it's not it's quite nasty in places and there's plenty of sleaze going on in this as well it's good good fun family portraits this is the old dvd i know this has come out on um severin i don't know what the different extras are i think this is a two disc set voice in the head one uh dvd i think it was dvd is it I can't, yeah voice in the head dvd and um yeah, I think it's out of print now, but you, like I said, you've got the, the, the Severin discs. These come out of short features here in the UK, and one of them was cut. One of the old DVDs was cut, not on this label either. Um, again, just Douglas Buck, powerful filmmaking, and uh, yeah, just not for everyone. <clears throat> Another Douglas Buck film, which is a remake of a Brian De Palma film, Sisters. Not many people know that Sisters uh, got a remake. Um Chloe Chloe Savini, uh, Savini is her name. I can't. I can never pronounce her name. Stephen Rea. It's just great. It's you just don't know when this is set, like time period wise. He, you know, Douglas Buck. He's not. He's not done a straight remake as well. It's just off the beaten path again. DVD. I can't ever see this being put out again. Uh, and worth tracking down. Requiem for a Dream. Cracking little movie. Downbeat. You know, not for everyone. Play Dogs. This is the fully uncut one, as it says there, extended version. I think this has had a reissue uh, on Blu-ray. But yeah, traumatised me. 
in my childhood and um yeah it's, it's just it's just horrible animation to show kids you know it's dagon um brian used uh, not brian used what was i saying stuart golden definitely worth tracking down you know it's, i know it's had a reissue i'm gonna put this one out for the i've, I've got this in the other set bloodthirsty butchers uh rats come in well for you so i'm gonna put that on the trade pile because i need to get rid of that Hatchet 2, the unrated director's cut. I only really like 1 and 2. This is the old DVD. I've never upgraded it. Enfield Haunting. This is a TV show. Now, the Enfield Poltergeist house is just around the corner from me. Literally, it's like 10 minutes walk from where I live. Um, so, yeah, I, I might do like a location shoot about this. This is a TV show. Pretty cool. Timothy Spall, he's really good in it. Children Shouldn't Play With Dead Things. Bob Clark, I know it's on Blu-ray, but I'm not going to upgrade. Frighteners, the extended cut, director's cut, whatever you want to call it. Cracking Peter Jackson movie, Sh deserves a 4K. Two from Stuart Gordon, one's a rental copy, uh, King of the Ants and Stuck. Um, I think Stuck was sent by my, my Dutch mate, Martin. Um, two two crackers, two gems of Stuart Gordon. Nightmare Beach, Umberta Lindsay. Again, not going to upgrade this, this is the Italian disc. Romper Stomper. Whenever I see Romper Stomper now, I think of um, this guy on, on Instagram, Del Sploitation. I've got to give a shout out to Del Sploitation because he's got so many copies of Romper Stomper. But I love it because I love seeing all these copies of Romper Stomper. And uh, he seems like a, a, a blinding guy. You know, so yeah, I've got me Romper Stomper, mate. Yeah, I know you like Romper Stomper. So here's my shout out to you. It's a cracking film. It is. It is. Totally. And I understand why you like it. Um, with your 150 copies or whatever you got. Castle of Blood. This is the... I know it's coming out on Blu-ray. I don't know if I'd upgrade. Maybe. Shock Movie Massacre. This is the TV show. Um, she put it out herself. So uh, it, it's good if you like the horror because they, they review a lot of directors. Alex Shanlon's Cradle of Fear. This is the old DVD. They come out on VHS and, and then DVD. But yeah, it's uncut. Two classic trailer reels here. Mad Ron's previews from Hell. Remember seeing that in Fangoria? Mad Ron's previews from Hell. All, all great trailers before Forty Second Street Forever put all the trailers out and all that and synapse and but yeah, and he he done another one as well called Celluloid uh, Blood Celluloid Bloodbath. That was it. This was the so-called follow-up to it. Another trailer reel of all classic exploitation. Don't look in the basement. Spun, which I'm actually going to put that to the side. That's a Joss Ackerland. I haven't seen that in a while, so I'll stick that to the side. Got some more nastiness here. Lung. Yeah. You need to check these out. These are like low budget. And um, yeah, he, he done a good job. I prefer, what's the other one he done? Which is further down. Flowers, isn't it? Revenge is a middle name. It's all, all nasty little flicks, you know. A troz, which is, uh, yeah, man, this, and then we come to flowers. Yeah, I really, really like this. You know, um, it, 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 it was an odd viewing the first time round, and it's one that you have to go back to. And like I said, he's done lung. He's done a few others as well. That you know, I need to pick up bloodshot. These are all the limited edition ones. Bloodshot is the American guinea pig. Um, I still need to pick up a couple of the other American guinea pig movies. You know, Stephen Byro puts out totally. I'm not, I can't show too much of the covers. I just have to quickly show you, you know. And last but not least, another Ryan Nicholson. This is the first issue um, DVD. So, yeah, another pile. Getting into that corner, there's a lot of TV stuff up there and um, mainstreamy sort of titles. But, uh, yeah, cracking on with it. Anyway, just hope you're all right. Got plenty more to go. I still ain't done that that top lot there as well and vhs and stuff and yeah there's, there's bits everywhere i tell you it's just crazy anyway thanks a lot for watching tuning in and i'll catch up with you all very shortly all the best take care